you hear us? Loud and clear. Everyone all right? We will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Just wanted to check in before we pass the last working Lumar probe. Guys, any last words to Omicron? Don't forget to pick us up. You uh, heard that, right? Don't worry, we won't forget. All right. Heading into radio silence. Good luck, guys. Tau, please respond. This is Rally Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tau. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Yeah, yeah, I get it. That was the woman that was in the seat. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Wait, no back button? Hmm. Hmm. I think Simon's falling apart. So much distortion, visual distortion. Well, there's something him here messing with him, which is also likely. So, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to actually look at everything while we're walking around, because if I miss... Oh, squeeze. Still makes me sad, you can't break mugs. Because if I miss something, I'm gonna be the big sad. So we have the Cortex chip. we got in this room. And I would probably say, wait, there's only one door. So where the heck do I get all the other stuff from? I guess upstairs. What do we reckon, team? Upstairs? I have a bad feeling about upstairs. I think it's gonna get creepy when we get back up there, having found something now. Uh, it's that way, right? I came in this way. Yeah. If I run everywhere, it looks like I'm not terrified right now. Yay! Oh, I hate it. Go away. No, stop. Bad. <laughs> Sylvie. Did I already read these? I don't think so. An unusually sedated orange ruffy. Ruffy? Ruffy? And hovering outside Omicron substation, it had a remarkable bone growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. <laughs> you have to keep trying. I know. You're forgiven. I brought it inside to study it, but it stiffened and died in the process. During postmortem study, the thing kicked back to life while being out of order. I kept swinging for a few minutes, so I returned it to the aquarium. It instantly started banging onto the glass and bludgeoned itself to death before I could relocate it. Wow. The Darby and Waldeck identified it as what was sabotaging the Luma probe at 900 meters depth. It's a 150 centimeter long rudderfish that looks like it's merged with some other kind of fish or shark. It's the freakiest form of mutation I've seen so far. It's clear that this is getting worse, something is causing this, and I'm not buying the radioactive fallout nonsense that Ovari can't shut up about. The man found on the climber this morning has been identified as Johan Ross, the AI psychologist working at Tau. I can't even begin to imagine what's happened down in the abyss, and frankly, I won't risk losing my staff. We're going down there to look. If the ARC team is alive, which I highly doubt, they will have to find a way to give us a sign. We're not going down there again without good reason. Okay, and we're venturing down there. Feels good. Good job, Catherine. Oh, there's one in here as well. We are midsection. Yes. Oh, that was loud. Holy crap! 
you guys see that thing? I want to see another dot appear on it and go for you. That would be... I'd, I'd like that. That would be an interesting thing they could have added. No foreign contaminants beyond this point. Do I count? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't say anything, I think you're going crazy. Maybe. Doesn't look very clean, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, so weird. Maybe you're going crazy as well. Maybe I saw nothing. Oh, is this like the wow stuff, or is this the fluid gel? Okay, that. 11 out. Wait, that's got to be two seconds, right? And that's going to be like three hours. Grows pretty quick. Quick previous results. Sometimes I feel like it. <laughs> no. Okay. That looks a bit grim. Seen something that speed. Look at the effect on like the sticky tape thing. Like, sellotape is not that thick. But I like that they did it. All uncalibrated, okay. Um, computer first. The structure charge has been charged and it actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from the power source. If applied to circuits, it seems to help out with connectivity. Excuse me. Um, it seems like it's not only connectivity but even functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that don't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Ah, Actually giving Cecil the coffee. After he tried to steal from you. When applied gel to dead mouse, the gel caused the mouse to appear alive, and it was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic while the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes of the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse, half an hour later the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel hardened within it. Early. Reanimated another mouse with struck gel. This time it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by means. The results were impressive. The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as well as hardening as before, electromagnets are used to cause electricity current within the animal. It's also provided us with the ability to somewhat control it. The structure gel remains unchanged on a fundamental level. It's still the same cross-linked gel with the aligned graphene in a polyunsaturated poly matrix. That was installed throughout Pathos 2 a few years ago. The problem is not the gel, but its control at the WoW. The gel has not taken on any new properties. The WoW simply uses it in ways that we would never have even dreamed of. <laughs> Don't make me look behind me, so will you? My, my door is closed. I would hear something. 
Actually, probably not. It depends on how loud PC sound is up on these headphones. <laughs> it's a doggo! Overwhelming evidence concludes that all the deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers were manipulated by the WoW via structured gel. They have in some manner been exposed to charged gel and in turn struck by a cancerous growths that affect their whole being. It's difficult to ask why, when talking about an AI, that it all started shortly after the comet killed the surface. I can't wait. I can't for sure say if it's bad code or carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. Ugh. <laughs> Damn, Sylvie. Quack. So mean. Okay, so we want uncalibrated gel, which is good. Control chip for malfunction. Service required. Of course. Of course it is not simple. <laughs> it's a horror game, you're not scared enough. I'm sure it will get creepier. <laughs> a bit of paranoia can go a long way. Oh, can I fix it in one of these? Ugh. Hello, friend. Back to a dead rat. I don't like this. I'm sorry, Lola. They were trying to bring it back to life with electronics. Dispense gel. Uh... Oh, okay. I want to see if it actually comes to life. Oh my god. It came back to life. There's something like it. Okay, this is weird. Oh, you gotta try these things, right? Hey, I brought it back to life. He lives because I pushed a button. Alright. Gel. Good times. And then we have... Can I smash these? Feels bad. Um, we have one more item to find, I believe. <laughs> you do hear something. Oh, it could be the cat. I don't think she's on the sofa anymore, no. Is it the thing in the middle? Great moment for the fucking stream to crash, I missed zombie rat. It might still be moving. Yeah, it's still moving. Doesn't look very happy though. I feel bad. That's for sure. You know that this is how every horror movie starts. Someone does something stupid like mutate an animal and then they come back to kill you. Yeah. The final boss is going to be like that rat mutated a couple of hundred thousand times larger, and it's just going to be a great boss fight. Ah, ha.
I don't like it. Same room. That this was better lit up before the uh, lights were on. This is I can't remember. Oh yeah. There has to be a power pack upstairs. Go look for one. Yes, ma'am. All right. But where are the stairs? coffee. Well, Lola, Faust might only be happy to see your coffee, but I am happy to see you. Um, where are the stairs? Uh, right, done that way. Came from this way. Haven't been this way. Hide someone's mouse. Oh no. The crumpets of coffee. Because these aren't creepy at all. The poor fishies. Why would you do this to them? Everything is built with so much structural integrity in this game. <laughs> I want some bottle smashing, I know, right? I can't remember if things broke in Penumbra or not. I'm going to assume that they didn't. Um, Yeah, I'm not entirely certain. Okay, so there's nothing this way. Even in real life, those things are stronger than I ever did or imagined. Drop plenty of them and only see one snap due to heat shocks. Wow. I suppose they are made of um, like tempered glass and stuff. <laughs> That's a good point, though. The mug wouldn't survive the throw. Uh, can I find another mug? I've never dropped one of these. But now I kind of want to, to see how strong they are. I never played Dishonored 2. I've done the first one. Not the second, though. Maybe I should play through those at some point. Right. Where are the stairs? That way and that way. Assuming they are stairs. Uh, wait. That goes down. Most of them are, they generally have a label on them. I may or may not have checked and gotten laughed at by my chemistry teacher after he was first worried if I was okay. <laughs> you smash one of them and it, or try to, and it didn't actually smash. I miss chemistry at school, it was actually quite fun. Interesting. Hey Andrea? Yeah? I was talking to Cameron about protein solubilization. Do you think we could break the aggregate and structure gel without flattening the configuration? Jesus. That was a mouthful. You've been listening to Cameron, that's for sure. What do you want, Raleigh? <laughs> Can you blame me for trying to figure this out? I've been having the dreams too, you know. 
I don't know what to believe. Oh, I know. Everything from the sudden signal amplification in black boxes to having a comatose Dr. Ross locked up in the glass jar. We've all been going a bit nuts. Tell me about it. Feels like my head's about to explode. Hypothetically speaking, could we stop the WoW from mutating? It doesn't work like that. Even if there was a site alpha? Hypothetically speaking, I guess we could try Rally, are you recording this? Sorry. I just... Sorry. Oh, I want to hear what she was going to say. Something to do with Site Alpha. Okay. Got a new mouse, friend. Need a better sensor. Please don't clip that chip. <laughs> Raise the chance. <laughs> hey, I found the stairs. Oh yeah, I need to put the clips channel in uh, Discord. I forgot. I will do it in nine minutes. Okay, this one first. Incorrect floor selected. Well, if you knew that, couldn't you just correct it? Alright, I'm getting a bit nervous now because we've covered two, two and a half floors and there hasn't been anything creepy. Oh look, right on cue. Noodles, I'll take the noodles. Okay. If anything's gonna put you off, put you off your dinner, that is probably it. Can I use it? Touch it. Uh, I think there's a s either their heads did actually explode due to the black box thing, or they found a way of killing themselves that destroyed the black box. It's a more expensive to model. There we go. Johan Ross was found dead on the climber this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. Yes, yes I did. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron, Eames, Lansky, all studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda Est. The WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything, and definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice if you can get through. Delenda Est. Yeah, so I'm not sure if these problems that were causing them to feel unwell eventually resulted in this mess, or if they chose to Things opt out. Hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. That's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow, for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. Wait, send. Of hand. The staff looks like they're about to. Oh, 
I hear footsteps. No, it's the dripping from something over here. I think. Who the hell is that? Bubbles! <laughs> Bubbles! On September 13th, Vic or Claire ordered staff at Tau to evacuate and move up to the plateau. Together with engineer Alan Wolbeck, I descended into the abyss to assist the evacuation. Following protocol, we waited at the climb platform for 140 minutes and made several attempts to contact Tau. I decided to move towards the site, thinking I might intercept them. That's when I noticed the guiding lights flickering and soon the whole path shut down. Omega Sector swallowed by darkness. I pushed on my floodlight until I hear screaming over the short range radio. I carried on, breaking in and out of range. As I hurried closer to investigate, I came upon the lacerated body of field worker Espinosa, something big had almost cut her in two. I considered the importance of saving Tao, and more specifically Ross, as I heard Espinosa's colleagues getting massacred over the radio. Seeing no way to possibly improve the situation, I hurried back to the climber and left the people at Tao to their fate. Wolfed. With some luck, Ross made it back to Tau and is able to continue his work at Alpha. To avoid further disturbances, I've decided to report the evacuation as a complete failure, hoping it will stop Theta from attempting another one. Claudia Eames, the manager of Omicron, has already ordered the climber to stay at the plateau for now. My report on the salvage, salvage wildlife scared everyone enough to even stop all Deck and Darby from maintaining the Luma probes. It's a good thing that Golaski Golaski is off-site because I have a feeling he would not have approved. The restrictions came out slightly more severe than I had anticipated, but I'll take it, as long as Ross is left alone to work with the WoW. I am. Stuff went down. Yeah, something's dripping over here, says so, so. I think. Yeah, there. It does sound like footsteps, though. Um... <laughs> That's very odd. <laughs> I guess it replied to your first message and got sent after? For some reason. I have been looking at bot alternatives though, so maybe we'll have some improvements soon. Uh, it's a thing. Wait, what is this? Please recharge and return power pack after use. Okay, that's a shame. No power packs for me. Let's go poke this monster that's over there, shall we? I don't know if I want to go near it. Okay, I didn't want to go near it. Shit. Oh, creepy, I don't like him. Yeah, well, it looked sad, right? So I thought it might have been different to the other ones. right where I need to be. Can I throw anything?
110 a second. That's not bad. warning about its presence and still tries to move in the same direction. Yeah, well... I was hoping I could distract it. Yeah, like, I don't know how to get rid of it. <laughs> like it literally doesn't care. Okay. <laughs> what you gotta do is just fist it. Um. Wait. Where did we come from? This room, right? Yeah. 